ट्रिग्नोमेट्री Prove that sin x by 1 plus cos x plus 1 plus cos x by sin x equal to 2 cos x. Okay, we have to prove sin x by 1 plus cos x plus 1 plus cos x by sin x equal to 2 cos x. Okay. We are going to start from the left hand side and we have to reach the right hand side that is 2 cos x. That is take LHS of this equation that is sin x by 1 plus cos x plus 1 plus cos x by sin x. Now in order to reach the right hand side, we are going to simplify this equation at first. Okay. In order to simplify it, we are going at first we are cross multiplying this equation, then sin x into sin x will give sin square x. 1 plus cos x into 1 plus cos x will give 1 plus cos x whole square all divided by 1 plus cos x into sin x. This is the for uh, we get after taking the LCM of this equation. So, by observing this term, we can see the denominator that is 1 plus cos x into sin x. Okay, we know that 1 by sin x equal to cos x. Now, in order to get cos x, we have to retain the sin x in the numerator here. So what we are going to do is that we are not going to expand the denominator but we are only expanding and simplify the, simplifying this numerator. While simplifying we will get a term which can cancel this numerator and the unwanted term in the denominator 1 plus cos x. That is we are not touching the denominator now. And we are expanding and simplifying the numerator for proceeding and getting our required result. Okay. Now by expanding the numerator we will get sin square x plus 1 plus by expanding 1 plus cos x whole square 1 plus 2 cos x plus cos square x. Now sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 by this identity and now by applying that sin square x plus cos square x will give 1 plus 1 plus 2 cos x all divided by 1 plus cos x sin x. Now 1 plus 1 will give 2 that is 2 plus 2 cos x whole divided by 1 plus cos x into sin x. Now by taking 2 outside we will get 1 plus cos x in the numerator and another 1 plus cos x is in the denominator. We will cancel both from here and 2 by sin x will remain here that we will get 2 cos x which is equal to our RHS. So we have to check one thing that we have to retain the denominator in order to reach our required result that is the RHS of this equation. 